Hey, welcome to Jessup Leadership Headquarters here in Rockland, California. I'm Daniel Gluck, and we're trying something a little different with our blog this week. We want to interview some leaders that we respect in the community and just ask them a few uh, things about leadership that we might learn from them. So we're going to do this thing called three for three. I'm going to start the clock in a minute here. I'm going to try to ask our guests three questions in three minutes and get some little leadership nuggets from it. Today we have Ryan Haynes, our campus pastor. He uh, is a man who's been in ministry for uh, 15 years or more, uh, was educated in Christian college, has a master's in Christian leadership, and leads our spiritual formation here on campus, is a father, a husband, and uh, understands a little bit of what it means to be in leadership. So yeah. thanks for being with us today, Ryan. Thank you. Appreciate it. You ready to do this? Let's start the clock. Let's start the clock. Here we go. Three for three. What has been, who has been the most, one of the most influential leaders for you and why? I think um, the author, speaker, pastor Andy Stanley would be one of those number one guys. I, like uh, I didn't guy. have a lot of mentorship um, and leadership that I sought out or looked to a lot. I had some people I respected, um, but watching some of them lead and learning some of their um, strengths, I didn't really see their weaknesses. So specifically, one of the first leaders I, I was under in ministry it seemed like he always had the right answers he okay. always had stuff together and I really idolized him and kind of stepped away from leadership opportunities earlier on in my ministry because I thought leaders had to have it all okay. under control and Andy Stanley uh, through his uh, teaching and speaking uh, talks a lot about uncertainty in leadership and kind of pulled the curtain back to say leaders aren't those who have all the answers they're those who uh, God entrusts with the uncertainty and the chaos of a moment and with their skills and gifts and uh, instinct they navigate the uncertainty not having all the answers but trusting in God so and Andy's just like practical leadership in a box I mean that guy's constantly uh, unpacking the best of leadership principles yeah and great leader I'm a practical guy keep it practical so Love Andy, Andy Stanley is an uh, invaluable resource to me okay number two how would you describe your basic leadership philosophy after being in ministry for 15 years yeah. plus I think early on I had a hard time uh, with the delegating, and so I think that's a hard thing. And then uh, the more ministry entrustments you have, the more you realize you have to delegate. And then it's really painful when you start delegating well to lose those people you've entrusted really great yeah. in ministry to who are doing a killer job and when God moves them someplace else. And so one of the things I'd wrestle with is selfishly, am I going to try to hold on to this person? Or am I going to be thankful for them and the time we get together and kind of empower them to go out and deploy them okay. for other ministries. So a personal philosophy I've tried to apply for myself is I want to be a, not a holding pin, but a launching pad for people. And so equip them, train them, and when it, God says it's time for them to go, deploy them to do great ministry. That's a great principle. All right, we got 50 seconds for number three. What is one of the greatest challenges in ministry that you've experienced and how did you address it or yeah. overcome it? Well, I think uh, in a nutshell, the big transition from being a single guy in college, all time effort focus being leveraged towards ministry and then incorporating my beautiful now wife into <laughs> that picture and trying yeah. to care and steward for her well. To learn how to be honest and uh, authentic with what the responsibilities were and the expectations, but also to try to communicate that to her in a way that she knew that she was my number one priority, yeah. not just in word, but also in deed. So trying to learn how to prioritize her uh, and not say yes to everything else, and by doing that, say no to my wife. And so that's been one of the biggest challenges, because uh, God's given me her first in ministry. Uh, yeah. Second, but they're both in ministry together. Nailed it. Nailed it. So time's up. Um, three great uh, nuggets we can get out of that, I think. Number one is maybe leaders don't have to have all the right answers. That's a relief to me and maybe to some of you. Number two, uh, releasing and empowering people that we lead. Sometimes we'll be able to influence their life, but then God is calling us to release them into future ministries. And then third, for those of us who have family and relationship and responsibility, kids, uh, we've got to find a way to balance, uh, you know, our wives generally don't like it when we work a hundred hours a week, yeah. but then tell them that, you know, we're totally committed to them. So mm -hmm. thanks for being with us. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time.